Hi, Pinnacle families. This is Miss Jane, and today I would like to share with you one of my favorite books of all time. It's a book that I used to read to my two boys, and I now get to read to my three granddaughters. The name of the book is called The Missing Piece, and the author is Shel Silverstein. So let's get started. The Missing Piece. It was missing a piece, and it was not happy. So it set off in search of its missing piece. And as it rolled, it sang this song. Oh, I'm looking for my missing piece. I'm looking for my missing piece. Heidi ho here I go. I'm looking for my missing piece. Sometimes it baked in the sun, Whew. but then the cool rain would come down. And sometimes it was frozen by the snow, but then the sun would come and warm it up again. And because it was missing a piece, it could not roll very fast. So it would stop and talk to a worm Smell a flower. <sighs> and sometimes it would pass a beetle. And there's our beetle right there. And sometimes the beetle would pass it. And this was the best time of all. And on it went, over oceans. Oh, I'm looking for my missing piece, over land and overseas. So grace my knees and fleece my bees, I'm looking for my missing piece. Through swamps and jungles. Up mountains. And down mountains. Until one day, lo and behold, I found my missing piece. It sang, I found my missing piece. So grease my knees and fleece my bees. I found my, whoa, 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 wait a minute, said the piece. Before you go greasing your knees and fleecing your bees, I am not your missing piece. I am nobody's piece. I am my own piece. And even if I was somebody's missing piece, I do not think I would be yours. Oh, oh it said sadly, I'm sorry to have bothered you. And on it rolled. It found another piece, but it was too small. And this one was too big. And this one was, oh, ouch, a little too sharp. And this one was too square. One time it seemed to have found the perfect piece, but it didn't hold it tightly enough. Oh, and he lost it. Another time it held too tightly. Oh no, and it broke. And so on and on it rolled. Having great adventures. Falling into holes oh, and bumping into walls. And then one day it came upon another piece that seemed to be just right. Hi, it said. Hi, said the piece. 
Are you somebody else's missing piece? Oh, not that I know of. Well, maybe you want to be your own piece. Well, I can be someone's and still be my own. Well, maybe you don't want to be mine. Well, maybe I do. Uh, well, well, maybe we won't fit. Well. Hum, hum. It fit. It fit perfectly. At last, at last. And away it rolled. And because it was now complete, it rolled faster and faster and faster than it had ever rolled before. So fast that it couldn't stop to talk to a worm. Or smell a flower? Too fast for a butterfly to land. But it could sing its happy song. At last it could sing, I found my missing piece. And it began to sing. Oh my. Now that it was complete, it could not sing at all. Aha, uh -huh, it thought. So that's how it is. So it stopped rolling. And it set the piece down gently. And it slowly rolled away. And as it rolled, it softly sang, I'm looking for my missing piece. I'm looking for my missing piece. Hi ho, here I go. Looking for my missing piece. Oh, it's so happy. So it thought it needed a missing piece to be happy. And it was really happy all along. I hope that you guys are having happy days these days. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Pinnacle Families.